Well, good morning. Happy Monday. Hope you had a good weekend. Um, we are continuing to think about thinking. This is based on Philippians chapter 4, verse 8, which tells us whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is of good repute, if there's any excellence, anything worthy of praise, let your mind dwell on these things. So yesterday, or last week, I should say, I... Um, I argue that we live in an anti-intellectual age. We're not known for being deep thinkers right now. And uh, in fact, there are some within the church that, that challenge the idea that we should be focused on thinking and insight and, and argue that, um, you know, we're supposed to be like little children or, you know, that, that pride or that knowledge puffs up and all those things. And I sort of address those uh, one at a time. And also noted that we are told, Luke chapter 10, Matthew chapter 22, we are told to love God with all our heart, with all our soul, with all our mind, and with all our strength. So I want to make two other points today as we continue. This, this will go throughout the week. But the second point is what we think matters. So this is basically what, what informs the Sermon on the Mount. Jesus gives the most famous sermon of all time. It's his sort of, uh, his commentary, his sermon on the law, the Ten Commandments. And what we see is, he argues that it's not just what we do, but what we think matters. He's, he says things like, you've heard it said, you shouldn't murder. I say, don't get angry. You've heard it said, uh, don't commit adultery. I say, don't lust. Right? He's saying, it's not just what we what we do that matters, but it's what we think that matters. So this is why we get a list like we do in Philippians chapter 4, um, telling us what we're to think about. This is why 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 4 tells us to hold every thought captive to Christ. Self-control is mostly about Mind control. Romans 12, 2 makes this amazing statement. It says that we are not to be conformed to the patterns of this world, but instead we're to be transformed. How? By the renewing of our minds. It doesn't say that we're transformed by serving or that we're transformed by praying or that we're transformed by giving or, or that we're transformed by something else, all of which is also true. <laughs> but it's, it's saying that we're transformed by the way we think. And of course, this is a, a, a gracious gift of God and it's fueled by the Holy Spirit. I don't want to suggest otherwise, but, but the work of the Holy Spirit is coming in a big way in terms of helping us to reorder how we think. So, uh, first of all, we're called, we're directed to love God with our mind. Secondly, what we think about, the Bible makes this point, what we think about matters. We need to pay attention to our mental diet, perhaps even more than we, yes, more than we pay attention to our physical diet. Third point is that right thinking is hard work. Um, perhaps especially today, it's always hard since the fall. Every aspect of our life has been has been damaged by sin. So it's physically, emotionally, spiritually, mentally, we are less than we once were. And uh, some of us are older than we used to be and perhaps not quite as quick-minded as we used to be, uh, but that is no excuse to not think well. And so we're told in Scripture that we are to study the Bible. We're, we're to study to present ourselves as, uh, as people who, are, who rightly handle the word of truth. No, it's not that the Bible is the only source of truth, but it is our foundation. It is a unique, God-given uh, book. And, and so we need to study it. This is going to be a foundation of wisdom. Additionally, we need to make time for uh, reflection and solitude as well as Bible study and prayer. And today, I think a lot of people just don't ever have any downtime. We entertain ourselves. We turn our minds off, but we don't actually reflect and process and, and learn. Other ways that we are to um, we are to do the hard work of right thinking is we're to pray for insight and we're to read good books. Um, I said yesterday we we have no patience with the page anymore. We just turn on the TV. We can turn our minds off, but we need to we need to be more disciplined than that. Well, there's more to say. We will continue this thinking about thinking tomorrow. Have a good day.